Okay, um, in this video, we want to attempt to use a method of integrating by parts to solve this integral of the cosine of the square root of x dx. And if this is the way we're going to go with it, then we have no choice, it looks like. dx, we're going to have to call this dv. And this would be u. And the reason, of course, is we don't know how to integrate this. We can differentiate that. We call this u. We can differentiate that to get du. That's not a problem. And for the dv, we can integrate that. This is going to be x. That's not a problem. The question is, the new integral that we're going to form from doing that would that be one that we can solve? Or is that going to be even more complicated than the one that we're starting with? So, since we seem to have only one way to go with this here, let's try it and see what happens. We'll say let u be equal to the cosine of the square root of x. So du will equal minus the sine of the square root of x. We're going to have a dx when we take the derivative of what's inside here. And we'll also have one half x to the minus one half. And then v, that's just going to be x. So what do we end up with? We have the integral of cosine of the square root of x dx will equal u times v, that's this times this, minus the integral of v du, and we have a minus one half here, so this becomes plus one half, and we'll take it to the outside of the integral, and here we have this times this, so it looks like it's going to give us x to the plus one half, times the sine of the square root of x dx. We've got the x to the plus one half. We multiplied these two terms together. Well, let's see. What did this get us? Here we started with the integral of the cosine of the square root of x. Great. Now we have the integral of the sine of the square root of x. The difference is here we have x raised to a fractional power outside here, and this then might be amenable to a UDU type substitution. Because we'll come along and we'll say, well, for this part here, we'll say let y equal x to the one half, and dy will equal one half times x to the minus one half dx. What we have inside the integral is one half x to the plus one half dx. Uh, but if we multiply both sides of this by x, that will then give us x to the plus one half on this side. So let's just write this down. x times dy equals one half x to the plus one half dx. But on this side of the equation, on the left side of the equation, we want everything expressed in terms of the variable y, not x. We go back to our substitution, x would be y squared. So this here would be y squared dy. So now this integral x to the one half times the sine 
the square root of x dx will be equal to times the sine of y and one half x to the one half dx this is y squared dy so attempting to solve this with a u du type substitution gives us this new integral here and this one surely we can solve this uh, using integration by parts and what we do is first let's write it down we're going to keep track of everything as we go along now or at least try to keep track and here we have y squared times the sine of y dy this is our integral now that we have to deal with and now when you look at this we have to pick a u and we have to pick a dv uh, if I call this u du we can get that real easy that would be the cosine of y then this y squared dy that would be our dv part and we, we can integrate that that's not a problem but now we're going to have one third y cubed and the du was cosine of y dy but now when we have the integral v du now we're going to have y cubed times some trig function we don't want that we want to get rid of this y term so we can uh, integrate so that's not the way to go when you see this kind of a situation you want to make this your u term and this is what will happen you say let u be equal to y squared du will equal 2 times y dy and you see what's happening when we form our new integral that's going to have a du with it the y, the power of y, has been knocked down by 1. We haven't gotten rid of it yet. We might have to do this, recycle it again, and do it again. But eventually, we should be able to get rid of that y term. And dv, then, that's the sine of y dy. So v, when we integrate this to get v, it's just going to be minus the cosine of y. So let's see. Again, kind of trying to keep track of everything as we go along. This integral here, y squared times the sine of y dy will be equal to u times v that will be minus y squared times the cosine of y minus the integral of v du here's a minus 2 so this will be plus 2 and we're going to have y times the cosine of y dy and now you see what's happened By calling this u, this integral here, now we have this one to contend with. But instead of having y squared, we have y. So we go ahead and we integrate this by parts, and we call this u. du is going to be dy. So when we make our d du integral, the y term that's outside of the trig function that should be gone altogether we should be able to integrate so let's do that we'll say let y equal u so the du is just dy and that means that this here has to be 
our dv term. So dv is the cosine of y dy. So v, when we integrate this to get v, will be plus the sine of y. So let's see, our integral here became this one, and so we have 2 times y, oops, 2, the integral of y times the cosine of y dy will equal 2 times u times v. There is u, and here is v, so we'll have y times the sine of y minus the integral of v du, and see what we have. We have the sine of y dy. So, initially we had this integral, and we had to go around and apply the integration by part technique two times around, but eventually now we just have this integral to deal with, and so this will equal 2y times the sine of y. And this is minus the cosine, so this will be plus the cosine of y. Okay, so I think we're all done having to integrate, but we've had a lot of steps in here. Um, so we're going to have to kind of backtrack to get back to our original integral here and kind of fill in some of the spaces. I don't know if we we'll have enough time on this video to do that, so come back, join us in the next video, and we'll pick up exactly where we left off and see if finally we can get an expression for this. So come back and let's see if we can get this wrapped up.